Chase Hockey, Blue Futon, and sometimes, just sometimes, Netflix gives you a random astro uh, suggestion. And this one is a Plagues of Balru. It's a Polish movie. Never heard of it. It looked intriguing by the trailer. I watched it. Let's see how it was. So the Prigs of Brisalu. I don't know if I'm saying that last word right, Brisalu, but we're just going to stop it right now and say I'm going to say it no more. But this movie is about a cop who has a really deep past. You don't know why she's angry, but grisly, I mean grisly, morbid deaths are happening throughout the city. And it has, to, has something to do with something back in the day of these six sins, of these six plagues, you know, gluttony, slander, corruption, etc., etc., etc. And whoever's doing this is doing it every day at 6 p.m., murdering these people in bloody, gruesome, grotesque, crazy ways. And this movie is freaking nonstop. I don't know what else to say, guys. So this movie, it's very short. It's about an hour and a half movie. Good characters, interesting characters. It takes a while to actually get to know the characters and actually like them. Let's put it that way. Like, you know, they're kind of, it's very a gritty, dark movie. Like, not a lot of humor. Everyone, no one smiles in this movie. There's absolutely no smiling in this movie. It's dark, gritty, grotesque. It's a lot of, it's so hard to say because it's, even though it's an hour and a half, there's no stopping in this movie. Let's just say something grisly, grotesque happens. Something happens with the horse to one of the characters. You're like, oh, shit. You think that there's going to be like a five minute, you know, break. Like, okay, let's calm down. No. The movie's like, nah, we're going to give you only two minutes, go. And then a really ridiculous thing happens, and then you're like, okay, let's take a break. Nah, actually, I'm going to give you a one-minute break, and we're going. There is no stopping in this movie. The deaths come quick, come ridiculous. Time flies very quick in this movie. That's kind of a negative, or this is happening, and this is spanning within five to six days, and it doesn't feel like that. It literally feels like this is all happening in an hour. It is non-freaking-stop. When I say this is a grotesque movie, like not, this is like Seven, like, you know, David Fincher Seven with uh, Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman. The deaths in this one are like, oh my God. That's, that's all I'm going to say. It is ridiculous. It is fun. The story actually makes sense too. Even though this is very, very fast paced, they try to put a lot in the hour and a half. And they do a lot of storylines in the hour and a half that connects and works. And that's really well with the writing and directing with this because with an hour and a half movie going this fast pace, there might be some character, you know, storyline they kind of push aside. This one, even though you might think they push them to the side, it makes sense for why they're doing it. And no one kind of gets put in the back scenes that should be put in the back scenes. Because like I said, you have the cop and her partner, something happens to the partner. And even though they kind of could say like, oh, this partner's done for. We keep going back to that partner, whatever happened to this person. Even though you don't have to, they did. And the conclusion is very satisfying. There are so many twists and turns to this movie. Like I said, something happens to one of the characters in like the first 20 minutes. Like, oh, shit, did not see that coming. And then another thing, another thing happens to another character 30 minutes in. You're like, oh, did not see that coming. And then the last twist, you're like, holy crap. I didn't see it coming, but it makes sense, and I should have saw it. I feel like a freaking idiot that I didn't see this coming. But you're like, okay, I, I dig this movie. This is, this is my first time I think watching a Polish movie uh, in Poland, and it it was a great introduction into their style of movies because man, I mean, not all of them are going to be this style, but this is fast, fun, neat, gruesome, grotesque, makes sense. And puts enough twists and turns that make someone go, oh, snap. Bad. There is no stoppage. Even though I loved it, there are some scenes where I'm like, whew, we're going a little too quick, guys, with the timeline. Because, like I said, you keep looking at the clocks. There are some editing issues with, you know, looking at a clock. And the clock fast forward, like, four hours like this. They're like, no nighttime in this movie. They are moving so freaking quick. You're like, whew. Anyway... This movie, The Plagues of Bri Brishla. Anyway, we'll receive a 4 out of 5 of Futons, which equals at 80%. So, see the critics news scores gave this one. So, you have the critics at 80%, wow, with 5 of them. And the audience score 50%, with 32 and no critic consensus. This one I'm curious about. 
offering a set piece every 10 minutes, a twist every 30 minutes. It's pure pulp, but Vega knows how to sell it, and there are pearls of wisdom, immense, and nastiness. I mean, it's pretty solid with that one. <laughs> the one person that gave it a negative. Police hunt serial killer. Language and extreme violence. Two out of five. I mean, that's straight to the point. But yeah, I mean, there's some language. There's nudity because, you know, all the dudes and they're dead on the, you know, the morgue table. And man, these deaths, they, they come out of nowhere. Anyway, do you at the 80s? Or the 50 chase out the blue futon like Tom subscribed. I don't think it's Bluton, Toby, Bluetonians. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Seriously, try to find this one on Netflix because you will not be disappointed and you will be shocked about what you see on the screen. I can promise you that. <laughs>